Did you know that menstrual flow can actually end up inside your abdomen? Let's take a quick look at how normal menstruation goes. So you have here a cross section of the uterus. Uh, inside here, you're going to see this triangle. That is the representation of the endometrial tissue. So normally, there are chemicals that are released that cause this tissue to die. The blood vessels literally get cut off. It starts to shrivel. It shrinks. It necroses, uh, necrotizes, and then it needs to exit the body. Prostaglandins come along at the same time and cause the uterus to begin contracting. That forces that tissue and blood and everything else down through the cervix where it can exit safely through the vagina. Now, if you have genetic conditions where your cervix is a little bit smaller, you may be at more risk for what is called retrograde menstruation. Now, we need to remember that up here, when this is squeezing, it is a relatively violent behavior. It's a muscle cramp, and that's part of the reason it hurts so much. But what can happen is instead of exiting the cervix, it actually gets squeezed up the uterine tube and it bleeds out around the ovary because remember there is space between the uterine tube and the ovary and it can actually get into your abdominal cavity. Okay, This is one of the ways that endometriosis is thought to be seated inside of you. As always, thank you for learning with me and if you have a question, you know what to do.